Hello everyone, this is Alex the Blue Man, and welcome to yet another day's worth of Red Dead 2. Where we last left off, we rolled ourselves in a <laughs> Romeo and Juliet type scenario. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what this is what I mean. We are talking to an individual named Bo who requests Arthur to deliver a letter and a gift to to <sighs> I can't remember her name now. I just can't. But I know her last name is <sighs> her last name is this. And unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce this because I don't know how it's pronounced because my TV is at a low volume. My goodness. <laughs> I feel stupid. I feel stupid already. So my apologies. Oh, right. The, the girl's name is Penelope. So thank you for, thank you for reminding me, Bo. So I'm just going to take a break, a little break from, from the main missions. I will do this next after this little fishing trip with Kieran. So without further ado, let's go ahead and continue. And hopefully I will catch some fish. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life and now you torture me. Ho ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Well, it's a good thing my horse is this one. Okay, okay follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Looking for a good place to drown you. Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. <laughs> I just hope that we'll catch different fish this time. If not, then that's fine. I think I'll just catch up to three, and then that's it. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. I'll just use the lake lure. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. Just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Poem goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Finally caught a bite. Keep it coming, but carefully. Not 
too fast. You could break the line. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Hmm. Kind of blue gill. I'll just throw it back. Well, it's starting to become sunlight, so... I'll just catch two more fish and then stop. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> good question. That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the light! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. Uh, mm, nah. You some fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Oh, really? I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Wait until. Hey, wait up. Are you coming then? Well, at least one fish is better than nothing in this spot. that naked fella was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. I, I think you'll have more luck close to me here. In order to catch a legendary fish, you need a special lure. A type of special lure is defined by the body of water. Okay. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, it looks like I found an eel. Just think now, you'll never be alone again. Oh, finally, I caught a bite. That has got to be the one, right? It might be putting up one hell of a fight. Uh, 
I hope it's a different fish this time. A largemouth bass. Hmm. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on. I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need better bait than this. Oh well. At least I found these, well, plants. Craft items on your horse. Okay, well that's done. I didn't. I only catch two. I only caught two fish, not a big one that's down there. I think I will. I think I will in a later time. Right now, I'm, I'll just do another main mission, which happens to be the one that is close to camp, and hopefully it won't be longer. Wow, it looks like it's starting to get foggy. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? A quick word. All right. Hi there. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. You are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> This way, bunch of smart alleys. Yep. How you get wind of this old man? 
They only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon. Equip bandana, okay. Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like well, I see it. to get shot but this is a mistake i work for cornwall kerosene and tar mr leviticus cornwall oh great so you know <laughs> he doesn't i hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not this to oh he'll miss it okay we're looking good must be nearly a thousand Nigga, say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Escape the pursuers. Yeah. <sighs> Well, they're not in the vicinity, so we just lost them. Okay, we did not. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Uh. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. I got nothing to offer, sir. 
Let's see, there's a guy... There's a guy sitting on the staircase. Then three more near the entrance. Uh-oh. They're gonna check out the barn! Oh no. What do we do? Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. God damn it, Arthur! What was that? They're flying them, boys. I was trying to knock him out without be without being silent, oh my goodness. Okay, I messed- I accidentally messed up. Watch it, Charles! More on the right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going up to security! I accidentally messed up. I probably should have waited a bit longer.
Good thing it's foggy so that it could cover our shadows. Cornwall ain't gonna be happy about this. No, not after that business on Valentine. Bastard! Get the hell off me! Arthur! <laughs> Made a meal out of just stand there, why don't you? I'm making an old man suffer. No more joy! Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. You're done! I'm terrible at this mission already, my goodness. Split up, go on, run quick. Good luck, Jess. Stay quiet and move. Okay, let's see what what objectives I've missed out on. Get 20 headshots, save Uncle when he is overpowered. Unfortunately, I failed on that. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Did not do that. 80% accuracy. I don't know how to do that. The accuracy. I, I failed. I, got a, I only got a bronze. Like my goodness. Like my stick of goodness. Uh oh. And I've neglected to... Ugh. Just thank goodness for the fog. Otherwise, um... Otherwise, I would have been caught already. I'm just going to head back to camp because what else is there to do? Oh, yeah, I have to help Bo once again. Ah! 
I still hate it when that happens. Thank goodness I lost them. I want to see what the other mission I, un I unlocked is. A stranger. Lenny. needs to speak to you. I think I'll do this at another time. Because this mission I am going to do next. <laughs> 